I was watching everybody. I think before I came or when I got here, I thought I did not have any, any expectations, but I watched everyone just so, I felt they were so much more advanced in their place it would gone. And I, what I was watching, I just felt like I was really outside of that. I understood, I got it, and yet I just felt like I wasn't in it to celebrate with everybody. So yeah, I approached Pete. <laughs> Uh, kind of said, maybe you can help me figure myself out because I don't understand why I feel this thin barrier, like almost veil that's there. Um, by then, I think this was the second or third day, and Pete just kind of looked at me. He had that very intense look. He just, yeah, you have those eyes. Very, very intense. And I couldn't lie when he asked me, do you trust me? And literally, for a split second, I did think about it and I say yeah I do trust I do trust you and he has he told me that I, I'm gonna do whatever he asked me to do I said fine he stood up he had no warning whatsoever he just stood up and at that moment I thought no this is not happening to me I cannot talk in front of a large group of people and in that second I thought I just promised him I'm gonna do what he asked so I got up. I have no idea what I said. I still haven't played the video yet. Where did you stand? Uh, uh, I stood on chair, like a, it was a booth, and I stood up. The, these booths were at the corner, so I was able to see the entire restaurant. The moment Pete and I stood up, or actually Pete stood up and yelled to everybody, so their attention was all toward us. I don't know what happened. I think it, maybe that's the zone you get into. I thought, I'm not going to think about it. I talked to my pet person. I, this is not, I'm just not going to think. I'm just going to do exactly what it tells me to do. That's all I thought about. And looking back, I don't know what I said. Um, but I know I did uh, confess my faith in front of large people. Um, was I shameful? No, absolutely not. I was. Actually, a little bit proud, thinking back now, a little bit proud of the fact that I did that. Um, maybe that's the what kind of got me out of the shell that I created for myself all this time. So I feel very free. Um, yeah. After the class, after that day, standing up in front of everyone, going out to the street and talking to people, uh, whether it was at the free market or anywhere. It just, your mind just goes blank. You don't think about all the mumble jumble that happens in your head. Uh, you're able to really think about love that God has for that individual. Uh, yeah, you, you, you approach it a lot differently. The compassion he has for every person is unbelievable. And I don't think that's something that you're able to see on the videos you watch on YouTube.